Okay, and now everything seems to go okay wire. But you can see here that this is the decussation of the pyramid. No, we don't see it. Well, uh, this is the decussation of the pyramid. So now what's left here is a little bit of the spinal accessory of this. Okay, so we're just at the very lower part of the medulla. Okay, so here is one medullary pyramid, here's the other, they're kind of this one's on top of the other. Okay, but this is where the pyramids cross. This is why we say one side of the brain controls the opposite side of the body because of this crossing pathway, because of the fact that the pathway crosses, right? Okay, now we've been pointing out substantia gelatinosa all the way up. And remember when we get into the brain stem it changes things. We call it the spinal trigeminal tract. It still has the same function, which is pain and temperature. Except now it's not for the uh, arm and leg, now it's for the face. Okay, we don't get into the other trigeminal nuclei until we get much higher in the brainstem. So we'll kind of follow this one up uh, all the way up into the mid ponds or so. And it just always stands out, just like substantial gelatinosa is very bright. And this one's always bright as well. So we have the tract, I'm sorry, we have the nucleus, and then the tract is right here, just like Lissauer's tract. Okay, now we call it the spinal trigeminal. Okay, and back here we were used to seeing fasciculus, gracilis, and cuneatus. Well, here they are. Uh, this is fasciculus gracilis, and it's synapsing here in the nucleus. So this is the nucleus. Uh, which did I say? Nucleus gracilis. Fasciculus gracilis, nucleus gracilis, fasciculus cuneatus, nucleus cuneatus. So again, anywhere from the spinal cord all the way up, we could say if you have a lesion here, the patient would have. The answer is always ipsilateral, either uh, loss of vibration and proprioception uh, for the arm, it's laterally, or for the leg, where it is needed. Okay, so the nuclei again are brosilis, cuneatus, and substantia gelatinosa. And then out here, again, the uh, accessory nucleus. And uh, remember when we went through these lectures, I stopped mentioning the spinal thalamic tract, the spinal cerebellar tract, and that's because they all kind of merge into a hazy area out here, and I just I want you to get the big picture.